So where was I yesterday? What happened? Why wasn't I live? Well, my name's Carolyn. I'm known as the Contest Queen, and I am in Las Vegas, and I was attending the annual National Sweepstakes Convention. And day um, Wednesday we arrived. Thursday was day one of the convention. It was a meet and greet in the evening. Um, day two was a Friday morning session and a Friday um, afternoon session and day three was Saturday with a morning session an afternoon session and an evening banquet followed by an after party which I didn't buy tickets to and but I'm live here on Sunday which is day four the end of the convention so what happened why wasn't I live like last night I've been going live every night uh, well, we are in Las Vegas, so what ended up happening was I hung out with Amy Sass and her family. If you've been following me on Facebook, um, you would see Amy. Amy's been coming to the conventions as long as I have, and because her first convention was the same convention um, that was my first, which was in 20, 2005 in Moline, um, Illinois. Is it Moline, Illinois? Yeah and in the Quad City. So that's what um, that's what my first annual National Sweepstakes Convention was and I've told stories about that one. Anyway, um, anyway, Amy at night I ended up sitting with Amy and her family talking back uh, back and forth enjoying each other's company and telling stories about past conventions and different things that we were doing and how Amy got into sweepstaking and whatnot um, and then um, I looked up and it was midnight then I went and found Wendy who is the woman I came to the convention with and she <laughs> she turned around and uh, was downstairs gambling because we are at the Horseshoe Resort. And uh, I sat with her. We were playing slots until 1.30 in the morning. And then I thought, I am so tired because I have to get up and be in the convention hall for 9 a.m. I did not go live. Actually, I completely forgot that I was going to go live. So <laughs> otherwise, I wouldn't have gone down and hung out with her. Actually, I didn't even think I'd stay down that long, but I was winning. So <laughs> I stayed down at the slots. And... Um, I didn't go live. So what happened day three of the annual National Sweepstakes Convention um, was the morning session. Uh, we had a speaker. Oh my gosh, where's the convention schedule? Because I don't even remember. Is it here? Do I have it right here on the table? Yes, I do. This was the sheet. It was August 4th to 2nd. Um, next year it's going to be in Little Rock, Arkansas. And it was announced today that 2026 is going to be in back in Phoenix, Arizona. So the schedule, oh yeah, here it's on the back page. Uh, so Saturday morning, uh, we had the annual sweep sheet member picture, which I shared on my Contest Queen uh, Facebook page. So go and check that out. Um, then we had Tom Cavalli talk about the other side of sweepstaking, but there was a twist on that speech because actually his wife, Lee, came up and gave this speech because that was the other side of sweepstakes. Um, what's it like being the partner uh, of a sweeper? And she is funny. And then he actually has a prize closet. She cleaned out that prize closet, brought a bunch of stuff, started giving it away at the conference. Hilarious. Um, I know a lot of people are new to the hobby of sweepstakes, so if you have any questions about uh, sweepstakes contests and giveaways while I'm talking about the annual sweepstakes convention, uh, leave them in the comments and I'll answer them as I go along. Uh, then we had a lunch break. Uh, I went. Wendy and I went downstairs to the food court in the hotel. They had a Nathan's hot dog stand, and uh, I've never had a Nathan's, famous Nathan's hot dog, so we had Nathan's for lunch, and it was great, and it was quick. Um, yes, it, it was, it, it is Vegas. 
that's where this year's convention was because it's finished because it's actually day four of the convention but I was too busy having fun playing slots until 1 30 in the morning so I never went live for day three so I'm doing day three on day four and tomorrow I'll probably when I'm headed home I'll probably do another live but from the airport and then in the afternoon we had um, a speaker talking about uh, insights from the IRS because in the United States, any sweepstakes prize over $600 is taxable, and so she was giving all kinds of really good advice. Oh, you want to win the lottery? Well, actually, the specialist that you want to follow on winning the lottery is um, uh, Timothy Schultz, and he's on YouTube. Um, when he was 22, 22, 21, 22, um, he won $29 million in the Powerball. And he interviews a lot, a lot of weird winners. Now, that said, if you go to my other channel, um, actually website, Words for Winning, um, Helene Hadsel, who was famous for winning every prize she ever desired, including a fully furnished home, uh, she never won the lottery because uh, there was no lottery in her state until 1992. Yes, exactly. Timothy Schultz spelt exactly like that. There was no state lottery um, in Texas until 1992, and she'd won every prize she ever desired between the 60s and 70s. So she didn't need to go and win the lottery because she'd won trips all over the world. She'd won a house. She won cars. She like she didn't need the lottery because usually people want to win the lottery to buy those things. Well, she'd already won them, so what's the point? So if you go over to um, my Words for Winning page and search lottery, I have a recent article uh, that I wrote based on Timothy's work and a bit of Helene's work. And then if you um, look back at older articles, there is a three-part series on her different thoughts over the years about winning the lottery. And so I have a three-part series on her take on the lottery and different advice on how to win it. There's also a great resource on Audible. Um, unfortunately, Richard Lustig has now passed away. However, his book is, um, I, I think his book is still available on Amazon, but it's fairly expensive. But on Audible, uh, it's only like $3.50. Um, it's not a long book, but it's the same advice. It's basically the book, the paper book read, and you can get it on Audible. And he's in, is he in the Guinness Book of World? He's in some record, something or other. Uh, he won seven jackpots, but his secret was the state lottery. So they weren't big like the Powerball, but no one's going to complain about winning a couple hundred thousand seven times. Um... So, um, go check that out. Yes, you read Helene's book. So, the articles on my Words for Winning website, the first one is uh, taken out of the book. However, the parts two and three, um, I found in her uh, remains of her business files when in 2022 I drove down to Texas. Well, actually, I did it, it was it 21? 21 23 or 22 and 23 I'm losing track um, in 2022 yeah in 2022 I drove to Texas and um, picked up the remains of her business files and I found two more articles one was digital and one was paper so I had to reconnect it um, Oh, I'm not back. I'm still in Vegas till tomorrow. Um, and I'm talking about day three. Um, Timothy Schultz um, is who you're looking for. I think someone in the comments mentioned this, the spelling properly. Um, he's really good on YouTube. If you put Timothy lottery winner, um, oh, other guy, Timothy Schultz. Oh, Richard Lustig. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, Richard Lustig. And if you type Richard Lustig, even spelling it wrong, Google will figure it out, and put Audible and Lottery, you'll find his book. 
and it's the cheapest on Audible. And I figured out why, because I think they were selling his book for $50. Now, I was really lucky. Speaking of sweepstakes convention, 2014, it was in Orlando, Florida, and he lived in Florida, and he was the keynote speaker. It was amazing. And he was selling his book for um, like 50 bucks. Hang on, I'm thirsty. <laughs> we went down to Gordo's. I still have iced tea. Or Gatanos. I don't know. Anyway, um, he was he was um, the keynote speaker that year, and he was selling his book. It was like fifty dollars, and then I ended up having him as a guest on my um, with the contest queen. So if you check my YouTube channel, I have an audio because I had a podcast before it was cool. Um, I only have an audio interview with him, um, and he since passed. So, no other chance to interview him on YouTube. Um, but his book was fairly expensive. But I couldn't figure out why his book was only $350 or something like that on Audible. Well, I started recording my Audible books. Well, it turns out when you record an Audible book, you don't get to price it. Uh, Audible decides based on the length of the audio files. And because his book was thin, um, they priced it really low. And so you can get all the same information as his paperback uh, really cheap on Audible. So I highly recommend uh, going to Audible and getting Richard's book. So um, anyway, so we had a speaker on the IRS and then off we went and took a little break and we came back and we dressed up and we went down to the banquet. Um, so that was fun. And then um, after the banquet, there was an after party for some of the bigger prizes, but I didn't buy any tickets to that. Um, does Richard's book work? Um, I actually haven't tried it because I focus on sweepstakes. Uh, I prefer not to spend the money on lottery tickets. Um, and so I haven't focused on that, but I do very well uh, winning sweepstakes. Uh, if you go scrolling back, you'll see all my unboxings. I talk about previous sweepstakes. Um, I like to enter sweepstakes because it's free and I can win all kinds of things. Um, sometimes stuff money can't buy, like I met Sting. That's not going to happen in my everyday life. Um, so things like that. Um, how do you do it? How do I do entering sweepstakes? Well, to make it sweepstakes do you have a book or I just follow you yes okay so head over to consciousqueen.com I have two things for you click on five steps to begin winning f absolutely free and then click um, if you subscribe to my newsletter which I send out twice a month so I don't inundate you with things um, I send it out twice a month it is um, you get a free sweepstakes starter kit, which is a little booklet with 10 steps on to begin winning. So I make it really easy for you to learn. And then every month I host a contest where you can win a free spot at an online sweepstakes masterclass. So if you go to my website and click on this month's giveaway and enter, you can win a spot at the sweepstakes masterclass. I do it over Zoom so you can be anywhere in the world as long as you're available uh, on the day that I'm holding it and I change it around so it's different for everybody and then once the fall comes I try to uh, host them sometimes on the weekends because I've had people in Europe want to attend and the time difference and sometimes people aren't available in the evenings so I try and mix it up to give everybody a chance to attend okay which is Richard's last name is Lustig and yes I have a book I have um, you can't you can't win if you don't enter it is only $1.99 on Kindle. I have How to Win Cash Cards, Trips, and More, and I'm currently finishing um, my third sweepstakes book called Prizes, Prizes Everywhere, which will be out this fall. And so that's what I have. And I actually, if you go to Words for Winning, um, I actually have 10 books in total that I have published. Um, I'm very happy when I went to my Amazon page on. Um, KDP and I officially saw 10 books there um, which is kind of cool 
and hot dig my biggest win so dollar value that would have been a trip to the winter olympics in 2010 and it was valued at twenty thousand uh, dollars four days four people four or five events we attended tons of swag like it was over the top it was amazing um instant my biggest instant win um was my hot tub that was five thousand dollars and i won it just like that one morning it was like what so that was cool um yeah so those things are really neat so then uh we went to the banquet delicious meal then they did all the state and lucky prizes i thought i was gonna win for sure nothing oh well that's okay and um and then uh, there's one sweeper. This is possibly her last convention. Uh, like I said, Amy Sass, she's a little mentally challenged and she loves the hobby and she likes hanging around me because you know, I am awesome. Anyway, I, lo I love taking care of Amy. So she gets, her family um, brings her and just kind of lets her loose on all of us and all the sweepers take care of her. Um, and brought her little gifts and things because she, she's, She's not great at winning, but we all uh, spoil her a little bit. And because she didn't buy after party tickets after either, she really wanted to hang out with me. And she said, we're gonna go to Blake Shelton's Old Red. And I'm like, cool, love country music. Been to Nashville twice, I think it's fantastic. And um, anyway, we, she's at this point she's very ill and is on oxygen so sometimes she's in a wheelchair her mother now has parkinson's she's in a scooter so we finally get all the way into old red and get seated and her dad goes oh my gosh amy's oxygen is at 13 percent. we need to go <laughs> so we ended up back in the room just hanging out and talking and having drinks and you know it was great and we talked for like three hours um, that's the really fun part of this hobby and I did talk about this on when I was on the speakers panel on the first the second day um, is that I've made friends for life from this hobby and people that would never have come across my path um, in everyday life if it hadn't been for sweepstakes and uh, so it's just just phenomenal how but this hobby has just changed my life in countless ways. But more than more value than any prize I've ever won is the friends I've made. And oh, a user says I won a coloring contest, a microphone case, a 10 speed bike um, from an MCD drawing. Yeah, fantastic. You know, I always say everyone has a winning story. Everybody has a winning story. It's so true. Love it. Oh, I guess, oh yeah, you can see the flamingo in behind me. So yeah, definitely in Vegas. Um, it's fun. We have to pack tomorrow and I get to double up my suitcase because I brought so many prizes to give away that I had to pack a second suitcase and pay for a second suitcase, but I didn't win as much as I gave away. So I get to combine suitcases and, uh, and I checked, I can put the rumba in my checked baggage. So I'm going to do that. <laughs> I got a rumba coming home. And so basically all my clothes will fit in my carry-on. How crazy is that, right? <laughs> so it's going to be it's gonna be fun um, getting out of here. And then also if you've been following my posts, I... Now, this is funny. I trade... I, I started collecting Trader Joe bags in to 2014, like 10 years ago. And I had like a cut. I had... I had some San Francisco ones and then I was in Boston at the sweepstakes convention and I passed a Trader Joe's and I'm like oh my god and we went in for snacks you know to buy some snacks to have in the hotel room and I saw the Boston bag I'm like oh my god this is cool so I bought that and so slowly every time I travel I stop at a Trader Joe's and I get their bag and I had like I don't know 50 if you go back on my YouTube channel I did a whole like I want to say unboxing. I did like accounting and talking about the hobby and how I have this crazy collection of bags and I don't know why I like them. I just love the art and they're practical and they're cheap and they're fun. So anyway, I say to people, hey, so a couple of years ago at the convention, so once the pandemic had died down and I was able to attend, 
2022, I went to Manchester, New Hampshire, and I thought, oh my God, there's all these people coming from all over the US. Maybe I can expand my collection. So I made a post and said, hey, if you want some Canadian candy, I will trade you a Trader Joe bag. Well, I don't know, maybe three to five people did it. And then the next year I did it again, and another like three to five people did it. Well, I don't know what happened this year, but like 20 to 25 people did it. So I had to bring so much candy to trade for these Trader Joe bags, but I have so many bags. I even got the thermal bag <laughs> to take home because I have a purple one, but I don't have turquoise. <laughs> and I got states that I don't have, so I was really excited. Like I got Missouri, and I got South Carolina, and I got Philadelphia. Um, did I get? Uh, was it Pennsylvania? See, that's the thing. It's Philadelphia, so it's weird. Half the bags are cities like Boston, New York. Um, uh, Chicago, Nashville, Atlanta, um, Washington, D.C. I don't know if that counts as a city. But then you have the states. So there's um, Arizona, Missouri, etc. Uh, who will pass your legacy to as you have extended Helene Hatzel's? Um, I don't know at this moment, uh, but I do know that when the time is right, the person that I am meant to pass the torch to will appear. But um, I'm only 57. I have no intention of going for a long time. So there's plenty of time for that uh, next person to appear. And I'm also taking on other people's legacies. So if you go to my Words for Winning site, you'll notice my first Tag Powell book has been published. I bought the rights to his and his wife's books. There was about 10 books in total from those two um, that I'm being um, republishing. So now I'm not only just doing Helene Hadzel's legacy, I'm doing Tag Powell's legacy and Judith Powell's legacy. And I know that there's more authors after that, but they also have not appeared. Uh, but I do know that they are coming. Um, okay, so... Um, Denise, I was speaking to my son last night about manifesting the lotto, and I opened up TikTok, and there you are. Yeah, it's crazy how that works, right? Um, it's crazy how... So I had a reading from Sarah Jordan. So go look her up. She is on my... If you go look up my Blueprints page on my Words for Winning website, she is a medium, she's a psychic medium, and said, messaged me one day and go, hey, um, uh, she, I feel like I was had a connection with Helene and I want to do her blueprints, like a modern version, like Blueprints 2.0. And um, I'm like, yeah, awesome. So we, actually, I did a couple of interviews with her on my um, Words for Winning YouTube. And she did a reading for me, and there was a point to all that. Um, oh yeah, so part of the reading was um, doing, um, what was his name? His name is, go check out, I want you to go check out, uh, Brad Yates, and he does EFT tapping. My roomie's here, my roomie's here, do you wanna say hi? Hello. Wave Wendy. Wendy and I have been friends since 2008, and I met her at a sweepstakes, a mini sweepstakes convention when it was um, in Hershey, Pennsylvania, and we were kind of like sweeping friends. We just connected on Facebook, chatted once in a while, but I was going through a terrible divorce. I needed to get out of the house for a while, so I uh, created a book tour, and I drove all through the United States, and I stopped in. I think I went through 17 states, and had workshops in 12 of them and did promos and I couch surfed the whole trip. I stayed with sweepers the whole way. It was so fun. Anyway, Wendy was my New York stop. She doesn't live in New York anymore, but at the time she was in New York and I stayed with her and uh, that's when we really became friends because I showed up at six, I never forget this. She, it changed my life. Stopped at her, at her house at six o'clock at night and um, um, she had a New York style pizza sitting there and we turned around and uh, we looked up and it was midnight and we've been besties ever since. And we've not only gone to, I think, 
This is our sixth annual convention. We've been to many conventions together. Uh, we've just traveled together. I've gone like and just hung out at her house for a week. So much fun. Um, so yeah, so we had a question about Seattle sweepstakes, but I live two hours away and they're hard for me to find. So you mean you live in uh, Washington State, you're two hours from Seattle and you're finding it hard to find Seattle-based sweepstakes because you're two hours away or Washington sweepstakes or sweepstakes in general. So if you could, if you're still here, John, if you could answer that question, that would be appreciated. Um, the reason is, is I'll, I'll talk about this in general. So one of the keys to winning, okay, Seattle-based sweepstakes. Okay, one of the keys to winning is to enter local and then um, statewide and then national and then glo and global, okay? So your odds of winning, it logic dictates this. The smaller the entry pool, the greater your odds of winning. It's not rocket science, it's all logic, right? So you want things that are Seattle-based. So for example, I live near Toronto, so this is what I do for Toronto. You're gonna replicate that for Seattle, but your resources and where you look are gonna be different because you're looking at a different city, but the process is exactly the same, okay? I have a list. Now, I use RoboForm to organize all my sweepstakes, but you can do this in a browser. I have a weekly folder, and I have every media outlet in my area on that site. So I will hit every radio station, every TV station, every like publication, every big blog, there's some big blogs and see what's new. I even have a couple of Instagram accounts that do weekly giveaways. So they're, I have them all listed. And every week I go and I open them all and I check to see what's new. I do very well on what they call locals. Like I've won so many concert tickets. We've won theater tickets. We've won, you know, like so much stuff from um, local events. The other thing you're gonna wanna do is download the app for every single sports team. So I I have the Argonauts, because we don't have the NFL, and I have the Blue Jays, and I have the Toronto Maple Leafs, and I have the Toronto Raptors. I have them all on my phone. And I used to have the Toronto FC, but we don't really go to um, the soccer. Um, but I have won so much Toronto Maple Leaf stuff it's crazy. I haven't really won from the Raptors like once or twice, but a lot of Maple Leaf stuff. And so you go in the app and you're just always entering their giveaways too. So that's what you want to do. Mark, what are you doing up? <laughs> Mar I'm on West Coast time and I know Mark uh, lives on the East Coast. Actually, I think you're near me. Um, so, okay, so I hope that makes sense. So what you wanna do is you wanna make like a list and a bookmark. So I literally have, now I go enter my um, sweepstakes masterclass giveaway. It's opened August 2nd, I think it closes the 17th. The class is on the 20th at 8 p.m. Eastern time. Um, and then the August, then the September one's gonna be on the weekend because um, I, oh, I need to wrap it up. No, you're not going to see anything. She's, she's getting ready for bed because she's not waiting for me. And I'm like, yeah, you just don't come here. She's like worried about the camera. I'm like, no, the camera's like on me. You're good. I don't, I don't need the world to see me make it. No, you don't need the world to see not me make it. Not unless they pay. Not unless you pay. Yeah, this isn't OnlyFans. <laughs> um, yeah, we are having a blast. Like This is a, the day three recap, Mark, because uh, I had so much fun last night in Vegas. Uh, I totally forgot and we were at the slots until like 1.30 in the morning <laughs> and then I'm like oh my god we got to get up early to go to the the morning session so um, and the whole convention was over by like 11 but it was fun next year it's gonna be in Little Rock Arkansas and they announced that the next year is gonna be in Phoenix Arizona so I want you to save your pennies mark because you gotta come it's gonna be so fun um, I've already bought my ticket for next year I've already registered. Did you register, Wendy? Not yet. Not yet. I was pissed. She's pissed. Are you going to look at the world? No, I was going to put my jewelry. Can they see me if I go that way? Yeah. 
she's like crawling under the table. <laughs> you're still in view. Turn it the other way. You're, you're... I'm in my pajamas. <laughs> okay, I'll go this way. Thank you. <laughs> I think she had more. She had more drinks at dinner than I did. Um, I want to go. You know, yeah, you do. And actually, uh, Mark, I know on TikTok, Bat. I think her handle is Batty Maddie. She, her, her husband. She's like telling her husband she has to come. And um, cross your fingers. If you guys follow Die Coke, known as Super Lucky, uh, from the UK, she's hoping to come to Little Rock. Oh my God. I have never met her. I've talked to her. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go back now. You're so funny. Oh my God. Come and see. Yes, you're to a live from our hotel room at 10 o'clock at night. It's 11 o'clock. I have to change and get bed ready. I know I should be in bed too, but I'm having You're fun. my bed routine. Okay, shh. this is this will be on YouTube too, you know. Just let you know. Take a night. Say good night, Gracie. I should probably say good night. I gotta get up at six because I need to switch my body to Toronto time because immediately after I get home. I have one day to do, to unpack and to repack because Wednesday morning I drive to Connecticut to do Silva training and I'm going to be doing this exact same thing um, every day recapping that training but on my Words for Winning channel. So that's what I'm going to be doing there. Um, so yeah, so Saturday, just to recap what Saturday was, day three, because it is Sunday, I'm a day behind because we're having way too much fun in Vegas. And of course we are. Uh, we started with the uh, annual sweep sheet um, picture. We had a morning session um, with speaker Tom Cavalli and his wife Lee Cavalli. We had a quick lunch at Nathan's. We came back, we had another speaker. And by the way, in between all these speakers, they're giving away prizes. So I, so I only won two things this year. I won a Roomba and I won a wine kit. So, woohoo. Um, so, um, we had a speaker uh, on the IRS and then we had a lovely blanket banquet with more prizes, which I didn't win, but it was fun. And then I went and hung out with friends, um, until the wee hours. And then after those wee hours, cause it is Vegas and it doesn't sleep. Uh, we went and played on the slots. Um, it was fun. So that's what we, um. We did yesterday, and then tomorrow I'll talk about the last day of the convention. So I'm going to sign off now because it is 11:10, uh, Las Vegas time, and I'm getting up at six, and because uh, I got to pack, and we're going to spend the day at the pool. So uh, yeah, from the city that never sleeps. Uh, yeah, and a new hairstyle. Yeah, I pulled it off my face because. It is hotter than Hades here. I think what today was 110 or something. I don't know. It was it was it was hot and lovely. So uh, it's fun anyway. Until tomorrow.